Computer Music's exclusive edition of Zills Lab's superb Sticks sequencing drum synth, Stix CM brings analog synthesis and sample playback together in a powerful three oscillator architecture, complete with onboard sequencing, mixing, and effects processing. In this series of videos, we'll walk you through all of Stix CM's features and systems and demonstrate many of its preset sounds and sequences along the way. Before we get into the nitty gritty of its various sections and their specific controls, let's take a quick flyby of Stix CM. With the plugin installed, load it up in your door and select the 110 Wave Alchemy TR808 preset from the 90 to 119 BPM section of the factory library using the top bar menus. A kit and sequence are loaded. Start playback to hear them. Let's change the drum kit. Click the Load Kit menu and select Glasgow from the Dance Floor category. The sounds change, but the sequence stays the same. To select an individual kit element, click its named pad at the top of the interface. The controls below now govern that drum. Select the snare pad and change the drum preset to Rimshot 82L Rim N1 Hi-Fi. The 10 drum presets that make up the kit can be randomized en masse in either of two ways. Clicking the random button loads a totally random array of drum presets with no regard for instrument type. So your kick could become a hand clap, say. Clicking Smart, on the other hand, keeps the instrument type consistent, so that each pad always contains a sound of its named type. At the bottom left, the mixer houses controls for adjusting each of Stix CM's 10 output channels. The level faders set the volumes and can be grouped for collective raising and lowering with the gang mixer button. The pan knobs position each sound in the stereo field. while the mute and solo buttons let you silence sounds or hear them in isolation. The synthesis section at the top of the interface is where you shape the sound of each drum preset. And although Stix CM only grants access to its easy mode, that does include the all-important filter and pitching controls. Tweak the cutoff and resonance knobs to apply low-pass filtering to the selected sound, and shift it up and down with the pitch knob. Stix CM features a trio of auxiliary effects processors fed by independent sends on each channel. Select a drum pad and play with the delay, reverb and phaser knobs to the right of the mixer to set the amount of signal sent to the delay, reverb and phaser effects, which are selected and edited in the panel to the right.
Each channel also has its own distortion module located under the effects sense. To edit the sequence, simply activate and deactivate steps for triggering on each lane by clicking them. Switch to single lane edit mode using the bottom button at the right hand end of the sequencer to adjust the velocity. gate time and grid offset for the currently selected sound. Here you can also program per note modulation of up to three parameters. These parameters are pre-assigned for each drum preset in the Step Modulation section. Set the amount of modulation for each step using the sliders in the single lane sequencer and dial in the bass modulation amounts in the Step Modulation section. The polystep section next door, meanwhile, applies cyclical per step modulation based on the positions of up to seven animated balls. So that's Stick CM in a nutshell. If you like what you hear, head to the Zills Lab website and check out the full version of Sticks, which adds editing of all synthesizer parameters, far deeper modulation, and much, much more.